What's up, you guys? This is Mike Shinoda from Fort Minor. Welcome to AOL Music Sessions. Three, four. Yeah. Beat down the toy soldier. Fort Minor. Petrified. Let's go. Yeah. Like that. Like that. Uh huh. Cheap shot on the cut. Okay. Y'all are not, not ready. No. Not ready. No. We about to drop a stand. So. Do it like that. Like that. Like that. My name's Mike, I'm flowing with the new shit, I'm doing it all night I like what I do, I do what I like If you quit and get it back like I'm riding a bike Like stop, stop, bring it back, bring it back We got that balance, keeping us on track That you get when you're moving quick with no slow Staying like you don't care, but you do though I know, you really must be so lonely Puffed up like a tough but so phony You and your boys, you don't know me You really wanna hold me, show me, hold me over with for good I got a friction addiction I wish you would Machine shot rocking When we step inside And we got everybody So petrified So why is everybody So petrified what? Petrified what? Step aside And just drop that Come on Drop that Come on Drop that Come on Drop that Come on Listen You are not ready Like children in a building You can't stand steady it must be the beat so heavy Causing panic attacks like a crack in the levee I give you that rob plant dance Days of back feeling all in the track And in fact, for those knowing the name I'm back with some brand new crack Do it like that You really must be so lonely Puffed up like a tough but so phony You and your boys, you don't know me You really wanna hold me, show me, homie Let's get it over with for good I got a friction addiction, I wish you would Machine shop rocking when we step inside And we got everybody so petrified So why is everybody so petrified? What? Petrified, what? step aside and just drop that Come on, drop that Thank you guys very much. Bobo, get him. It's good stuff. the one. 
one to blame, you like fun and games, keep playing them, I'm just saying, think back then, we was like one and the same, on the right track, but I was on the wrong train, it's like that, now you gotta face the pain, and the devil's got a fresh new place to play, in your brain like a maze, you can never escape the rain, every day's the same shady way. Hey, I used to have a little bit of a plan, used to have a concept of where I stand, but that concept slipped right out of my hand, and now, I don't really even know who I am, yo, what do I have to say, maybe I should do what I have to do to break free, and Whatever happens with you, we'll see But it's not gonna happen with me I guess that this is where we've come to If you don't want to Then you don't have to believe me But I won't be there when you go down Just so you know now The one you want to believe me Back then, I thought you were just like me Somebody you can see all the pain I see But you proved to me unintentionally That you were self-destruct eventually Now I'm thinking like the mistake I made doesn't hurt But it's not gonna work It's really much worse than I thought I wish you were something you were not And now this guilt is really all that I got oh, You turn your back or walk away in shame All you got is a memory of pain Nothing makes sense You can stare at the ground I hear my voice in your head when no one else is around So what do I have to say? Maybe I should do what I have to do to break free And whatever happens to you We'll see, but it's not gonna happen to me Gonna happen I guess that this is where we've come to If you don't want to Then you don't have to believe me But I won't be there when you go down Just so you know now You're on your own now, believe me Yeah, bo bo of the Timbales Pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember. 
remember the name Mike he doesn't need his name up in lights He just wants to be heard Whether it's the beat of the mic He feels so unlike everybody else alone In spite of the fact Some people still think that they know him But fuck him, he knows the code It's not about the salary It's all about reality And making some noise Making a story Making sure his click stays up That means when he puts it down Talks picking it up Let's go Who the hell is he anyway? He never really talks much Never concerned with status But still leaving a starstruck Humble through opportunities Giving this fight to Fact, that many misjudge because he makes a living from writing raps Put it together himself, that a picture connect Never asking for someone's help, but to get some respect He's only focused on what he wrote, his will is beyond reach And now it all unfolds, the skill of an artist This is 20% skill, 80% fear Be 100% clear, cause Ryan was still Who would've thought he'd be the one that set the rest in flames That I heard a record with the crystal method the name of the game Came back, dropped mega death, took him to church I like bleach, man, Ryan was at the stupidest verse, this dude is the truth Now everybody giving them guest spots And stocks through the roof, I heard he Give me that stock 10% love and 20% skill 15% concentrated power and will 5% yeah. pleasure and 50% pain And 100% reason to remember the name They call him Ryu He's sick and he's spitting fire But Mike got him out the dryer He's hot, found him in Fort Minor with shot What a f***ing nihilist, porcupine He's a he's a the type women wanna be with the rappers Hope he can shot, shot. Eight years in the making Patiently waiting to blow Now the record with Shinoda Is taking over the globe Got a partner in crime This is equally dope You won't believe the kind of sh That comes out of this kid's no time He's not your everyday on the block He knows how to work with what he's got Making his way to the top He often gets a comment on his name People keep asking him Was it keeping that birth That doesn't stand for an act with him No, he's in the proof Let him rock in the booth He'll get you buzzing quicker than the shot of vodka with juice Him and his crew are known around as one of the best Dedicated to what they do and give a hundred percent Forget Mike Nobody really knows how or why he works so hard It seems like he's never got time Because he writes every note and he writes every line And I've seen him at work when that light goes on in his mind It's like a design written in his head every time Before he even touches the key or speaks in a rhyme And those motherfuckers he runs with, kids that he signed Ridiculous, without even trying Beach, you ready? Let's get a beat. Yeah. This song High Road is on the record coming out November 22. Record's called The Rising Tide. This song High Road has John Legend on it, but obviously John couldn't be here today. My friends over here on this side are gonna help us out. These people are running off the mouth. Trying to convince me that I'm running on empty Trying to convince themselves that the record with Jay was a fluke That the record that I'm making is a mistake and I can't take this Let me tell you where I'm at with this You are gonna have to take back that I'm not plastic and fake When I make tracks I take facts and lay them out for the masses You souls are gonna see soon I'm not playing And start asking me the names that I'm not saying But I'm trying to be bigger than the bickering Bigger than the petty name calling Under the breath talking Rumors and labels and categorization I'm like a struggling doctor, no patience but you can say what you want about me Keep talking while I'm walking away, come on You can say what you have to say My mind's made up anyway You have to say My mind's made up anyway All that bullshit you talk might work a yeah. lot But it's not gonna work today You people are running off the mouth Trying to make me take myself off safety Trying to make my friends turn their backs on this team we built Building up some mistaken information And I can't take this Let me spell it out plain for you Angry crews complaining about the things we do I'm not changing direction I'm stepping my game up Maintaining my name same way that I came up you're gonna see that I'm not playing And start asking me the names that I'm not saying But I'm trying not to mention the names Of people who wanna siphon attention You like the hype but pretending You're part of the picture won't pass You're like a high school dropout, no class And you can 
say what you want about me Keep talking while I'm walking away You can say what you have to say My mind's made up anyway Taking a high road, going above you This is the last time that I'm gonna trust you You can say what you have to say My mind's made up anyway All that book, some talk might work a lot But it's not gonna work today You guys sing it, come on Get on the mic and let it go. Oh no, close the door, shut the lights and start the show. Better let everybody know. Get on the mic and let it go. Oh no, close the door, shut the lights and start the show. Yeah. Better let everybody know. Get on the mic and let it go. Oh no, close the door, shut the lights and start the show. Yeah. Better let everybody know. Get on the mic and let it go. Oh, they're dangerous. Y'all can't really hang with us in this. Everybody's so brave to bust. Makes me wanna hang it up quick. Forget about all the things you hurt for. About time that we kick it down the door. Everybody's gonna hit the fucking blow. Please, Mike, don't hurt me anymore. I don't gotta have a secret lie or an alibi. Everybody knows why it is. I just assume crack a bottle. Let's crack you over the head with a bottle of beer. So just listen up there, powder puff. Better believe that I'm not playing. You can love it, you can hate it. Don't mistake it, everybody's saying. Oh no, close the door. Shut the lights and start the show. Yeah, better let everybody know. Get on the mic and let it go. Exist. Just make believe that it don't exist But you won't cause every time you go to spin hey, yo. Talk over you just like this uh, It's annoying just for you You can scream all day till your face is blue Getting in your head and you know it too And that's just me, you don't know my crew I'm man six shot, understand though The way that he falls, you can call him Rambo Never miss a shot, never run out of ammo Coming with heat like a god commando And add in SOB, Ryu talk, Vin Scully and Sheep Shot And now you see, with me, nah, come on Oh no, close the door, shut the lights and start the show yeah. Better let everybody know Get on the mic and let it go Oh no, close the door Shut the lights and start the show yeah. Better let everybody know Get on the mic and let it go We got this place cracking, beat knocking, non-stop it If y'all are with it, let me hear it now Yo, we got this place rocking, beat knocking, non-stop it If y'all are with it, let me hear it now yeah. It goes one time For my machine shop crew And then it's two times S.O.B. and L.P. And a lot of my stuff that I've done in the past, um, in painting or music, I have a little bit of a, a, a fascination with dynamics and different styles kind of coming together. If you look at the cover of uh, the first Lincoln Park record, you see a soldier with dragonfly wings, and the soldier represented the the heavier side of what we play, and the wings represented the the more um, introspective, delicate side of what what goes on in the band. Um, so Fort Minor is kind of a kind of an, a different take on that type of idea. Um, this album is a dynamic album. Um, the fort side of it represents the the more uh, aggressive, militant side almost. Um, the trash talking and whatnot that goes on in the record. 
the uh, minor side, minor in music obviously is major, minor, minor is described as the darker key or the maybe sometimes a smaller, um, a smaller thing. So that's the other side of that, that coin. And um, the, uh, the album is a very dynamic album. From song to song, there's a lot of variety. Um, but it stays consistent, and I wanted a name that kind of summed up that that consistent personality. When, uh, when since we've been doing interviews and um, press for this project, probably the most confusing thing is who is Fort Minor, like what is going on. You know, it, people hear that it's me, but then they also see other people. Um, for a live show, um, what's going on? What you'll see here is we've got a couple of string, or three string players. We've got three vocalists, backup vocalists, a drummer named Beatdown, and then also the other guys on the stage, uh, DJ and the other two rappers are from a group called Styles of Beyond. Uh, Styles of Beyond, we've been friends since about eight years ago, um, and they are on about half of the Fort Minor album. So it, it seemed only right for me to bring them out and include them in the live show. Plus they're, they're friends of mine, like, you know, we get along well on the road, so it's a good time, you know. I studied piano for about 10 years, give or take. Um, from there, I kind of get, got into hip hop and, and some other things. And um, basically, my teacher was big enough to say, you know, you know what, I, don't, I can't teach you those things. Like, you're going to have to just get your own equipment and, and learn that on your own. Um, so when it comes time, you know, so at these, when people find out that things like that, or like, for example, I was, um, no, I'm not blood related, but I am, you can trace my lineage to Tchaikovsky in a weird way. Things like that always strike people as like, well, that's, that's really crazy. But to me, it's like, you know, um, this music is just, it's, it's rooted in a, lot of, in a lot of different things. Obviously, you have to train at what you do in order to get good at it. My focus is not, I mean, you know, can I play all those classical songs I used to play? Not really, not so much, but my focus isn't so much on the technical, fast playing aspect as it is in just making songs that move people. That to me is much more important. You know, it's hard to do. There's nothing that anybody can teach you about how to make that happen. But when you write a song that somebody else, you know, gets, feels like they have a real connection with, that is something, I think that's something very special. For the Fort Minor record is, at the end of the day, it's my record. Um, one of the biggest differences between the Lincoln Park stuff and the Fort Minor stuff is that with Lincoln Park, it's more of a collective, like each of us has an equal say in what goes on with the music, whereas Fort Minor, it's my project and I made decisions. Um, the name of the album is The Rising Tide. It's a play on words, obviously, Tide, uh, referring to the group of people that are on the record. And I just feel that this Tide group of people is rising up together in music, making a statement right now. Uh, these people that I'm talking about uh, includes Common, John Legend, Black Thought from the Roots, um, Kenna, Holly Brooks, Styles of Beyond, um, and our, I guess our executive producer as well, Jay-Z. Um, and these people basically I just picked, I, I picked this cast of people based on what would be best for the songs, you know? I had a vision for what the album should sound like. I, I, know, I knew exactly what, what direction it was going. And I wanted to, peak, uh, to pick people that I felt confident could understand that and I could just let them run with their verse or whatever and they'd nail it. We met um, Jay during the Collision Course album. Um, MTV had called Jay and asked him, you know, well, they wanted to do a show where he takes um, his music and mashes it up with another artist and then plays that on stage. That was the extent to which they had kind of thought the idea out. And they knew that they had to put it in the artist's hands and figure it out and have them figure it out. So they asked Jay, you know, you figure out who you want to do this with. Well, Jay called us, and that was the first time that I had ever, um, that we really got to meet him, that I had ever got in contact with him. Um, and that whole thing kind of just set off this little bit of a, um, it's just this weird friendship. Like we, you know, when we're in town in the same place, if we got time, we, we try and get together. Um, and, um, He's great to go to go to just for like little ideas and things and just advice. So when I was making this Fort Minor record, obviously, to me, I'm a versatile musician. When I make stuff, I tend to kind of be able to do a lot of different things. And that can be a problem in the sense if you're making an album that you really want to be consistent and have a unique like identity. If it's too all over the place, it'll be a mess. 
So I wanted somebody to kind of look over my shoulder and say, you know, what, how, what to make of the songs. And Jay basically came in with us and um, he'd say whether a song was, you know, a keeper, whether we should throw it out or, or if it just needed some work. Um, he didn't write anything on the record, but I think his man, that, that kind of overall like management thing that he did um, is exactly what I, what I needed. And, um, and, and, and it was a very important part of the record. I'm half Japanese. My, um, my dad um, and, his, and that side of my family um, were put in internment camps during World War II. Um, for people that don't know, after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, um, the U.S. government basically went through this uh, period of racial profiling where they took everybody who was Japanese and even some other Asian people from the West Coast and stuck them in uh, internment camps, these, these basically prison camps. Uh, my dad was about three or four years old at the time. He had um, 11 brothers and sisters, I think, at the time, maybe 12. Um, and uh, my oldest aunt was in her 20s. She had four kids. So for my record, I, I just got this idea to do a song um, based on that story. And um, I interviewed my dad and I interviewed my aunt. And uh, I used those interviews in the story, in, in the song, excuse me. And then I kind of based my story loosely around what I know um, as kind of a, the average experience about, um, about that time. Um, I met with, more recently, I met with the president of the Japanese American National Museum and she said that they, they support the song fully. They, she really believes in it, thinks it's a great thing. And to me, to be able to have that kind of, um, to have somebody like that vouch for a song that I did um, is a very big deal because this is something that gets like kind of glanced over in your history book. You don't really hear about it, um, but it's very, I think it's very appropriate these days on um, the subject of racial profiling has come up a lot in the past few years. And, um, you know, this is an example of why, of where that went wrong. You know, the U.S. government um, in the Reagan administration admitted that this was something they shouldn't have done. They, they flat out said that it was a mistake. And so um, it's something that I did want to just kind of make part of the record because it is part of my history and, and who I am. Um, and I thought it was appropriate. A few months ago, uh, we played Live 8. Um, we played a set with Jay-Z and uh, obviously my band, Lincoln Park. Um, the weirdest part about the whole thing was that, you know, in order, we, when we first heard about the show, we were saying, okay, Chester and I said, you know, we can go be a part of the show in some way because the other guys had some very important family things going on. Um, well, Bono wasn't having that. And he called me directly at my house to convince me to play the show. And I mean, I don't know if you can imagine getting a call from Bono in the morning, but you know, you're eating your cereal and Bono's calling, it's the weirdest thing in the world. Um, but we had a really good conversation. Um, you know, f for all I can tell, he's a really, he's, a, he's especially given the circumstances, he's a very down to earth guy, very cool guy. And um, you know, it didn't take much for him to convince me that we need to play the show. Um, especially just given the, um, the, the, how serious the, the, the cause was and what a good, what a good show and what a good cause it is. Um, so we played the show. There were between 750,000 and a million people on the grounds that day, like there at the show, not to mention all the millions of people that were watching. So it was by far the biggest show we've ever played. Um, and it was, you know, you could see people all the way to the horizon, straight out to the horizon. Like there were people all the way to the end of the earth. It's crazy. The uh, the Fort Minor live show is uh, is obviously I mean as you see or we'll see it's it's a special thing. Um, I, my attitude with the touring with Fort Minor is qu quality over quantity. Um, so that is to say that if we're playing in your town, that you should probably come out and see it because we may not play there again anytime soon. Um, and part of the reason for that is I do always want the show to be a hundred percent you know um, it's a big group of guys and we work really hard to put on a good show so I want that energy level to always be up I wouldn't have done the uh, the Fort Minor record if I didn't have the uh, support of the other five guys 
So that is to say that, um, you know, as it was getting started, I asked the guys what they thought and if they were cool with it and everything. And I think now at this point, you know, even though it is, I am in Lincoln Park first and foremost, you know, that if, if they needed me tomorrow, I'd need to be there. But I think the guys are very supportive of this album and um, they're proud of it. Um, they were involved to a certain degree too. This album's coming out on our label, which is called Machine Shop. And um, Brad, our guitarist, is uh, my A&R guy. I actually picked him as my A&R guy, which is cool because, you know, your A&R guy, it's a business, like, office desk kind of job. And um, he's, he, he got to step into that role and be that guy for a while. Um, obviously in a much more, he's a very creative guy, so he got to be much more creative. In fact, he, he kind of worked in the same uh, capacity as Jay did on this record. Uh, Mr. Han from Lincoln Park, he's uh, our DJ. He's on the last track on the record, which I thought just conceptually that was nice because it kind of ends the record and leads off into the next thing, which will probably be a Lincoln Park record. And uh, just to include Joe in that makes for a nice transition to me. Um, yeah, actually, just to step back a minute, the, uh, we have a special edition of The Rising Tide coming out. Um, the album comes out on, in the U.S. on the, November 22 and uh, outside the U.S. on the 21st. Um, and the special edition has it, three extra songs, and it has a DVD. On the DVD, I actually, it shows me sitting down with Brad and Jay-Z. There's like a whole like 10 minute section um, showing us doing our, doing our little uh, uh, executive producer A&R thing, like sitting down and picking which songs go on the record and what we like about songs and which songs aren't quite happening and all that. Um, it is definitely a cool thing to see. The Fort Minor record is different. It's got its own identity. It's got it's 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 based in this more organic hip hop style that um, is rooted more in like my songwriting and, and playing different instruments and things. However, when we get to play the live shows, I definitely I like to you know I I I want to do what pleases the crowd. I want the crowd to come and have a good time, and uh, I know that a lot of those people who are coming to see the show have seen me do. Um, or know of the songs of Lincoln Park, or know of the song "It's Going Down" um, that we did, that I did with Executioners. So I just kind of stick those in the set. Um, but it's a twist because we've got the string players and the vocalists. So on "It's Going Down," the strings are kind of playing the guitar part, and on "In the End," we play the remix version, which is more hip hop and has um, the backing singers on it and whatnot. And obviously, if Chester's in town, he's come up on stage with us and sang it. You know, I don't really know what's going to happen next with Lincoln Park. We are currently writing music. Um, we're thinking about the next record. And I think in the meantime, you know, um, this Fort Minor album comes out. It's, uh, it's Thanksgiving week. It's, it's, uh, I made it really memorable. It's 1122. Easy as that, right? Um, and I know that the other guys are very supportive on this record. So, you know, they, they have told me they're going to kind of just step back. We're gonna we're gonna step things back and let the Fort Minor record do its thing, and uh, when it's when it's time to uh, have that next Lincoln Park record out there, w you know we're working on that behind the scenes, so that'll be ready when we need it. Um, there are a couple of videos that are out for the um, the Fort Minor record right now. Um, in the states, we have a video called Petrified. Um, it's more of an upbeat, like really actually it's kind of dark, but it's got a lot of energy. The video is shot in black and white um, by a director called, named uh, Robert Hales. And uh, it's totally, like, irresponsible, this video. I mean, there's, like, flares going off, flare guns, and, f and cars spinning out and kicking dirt everywhere and broken down trains, and it's just, a, it's crazy. Um, the other video, which is actually out outside, this, outside the U.S. right now, is called Believe Me. Um, so that, that video is a little more of a clean uh, look, um, lots of special effects in there. And the song, I think, believe me, that song is a little more of um, lyrically what people are familiar with um, from me as far as Linkin Park goes. But the music on Believe Me is more of like, the beat is more of a um, old school New York hip hop kind of thing, like a la Boogie Down Productions or Wu-Tang or something like that. And then the, the music, we actually have a, um, on the song Believe Me, I think one of my favorite parts is we've got a Latin percussion player named uh, Eric Bobo, who is the son of uh, famous Latin percussion player uh, Willie Bobo. 
And uh, I met him, he was on tour with Cypress Hill and we played a bunch of shows together. He was on our tour. Um, and uh, I, at that point I was like, we need to do a song. Like, you, I'll, I'll give you a call when I've got the song for you. Whatever that turns out, whatever that is, I'll call you. And when I wrote Believe Me, I made a special section for him and I gave him a call and said, this is the one, you gotta come play on this one. You know, the questions come up a lot. You know, people ask me why I, I decided to do this project. Um, it should be said that before Linkin Park, that's all I did. Um, I, my, the first music I ever listened to was hip hop. The first records I ever bought were like uh, Run DMC and LL Cool J and Beastie Boys and stuff like that. And um, I had studied piano for about 10 years. Um, Went from piano to keyboards, keyboards to the pr uh, production, and I started making beats and rapping over them. And then um, pretty much when Linkin Park started, that's all I did. I just did Linkin Park. So about two years ago it started kind of, it occurred to me, what would happen if, um, you know, in that time that passed, how would my, the hip hop that I was making then, how would it have changed? And so uh, that's kind of where Fort Minor came from. <laughs> Name, listening, to, you're listening to AOL radio. To the big camera? Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ready? Okay. What's up? This is Mike Shinoda from Fort Minor, and you are listening to AOL radio. What's up? This is Mike Shinoda from Fort Minor, and you're listening to AOL Music Sessions. You're on AOL Music. What's up, you guys? This is Mike Shinoda from Fort Minor, and you're on AOL Music. Hey you guys, this is Mike Shinoda from Fort Minor and you're watching AOL Music On Demand. Welcome to AOL Music Sessions. What's up you guys, this is Mike Shinoda from Fort Minor. Welcome to AOL Music Sessions. Welcome to AOL Music Sessions, come on in. What's up, you guys? This is Mike Shinoda from Fort Minor. Welcome to AOL Music Sessions. Come on in. There's two more. Uh, this is for our top 11 show. Mm -hmm. uh, watch our video and make it number one on AOL's top 11 countdown. What's up, you guys? This is Mike Shinoda from Fort Minor. Wait, let me do it one more time. Watch our video and make it number one. Okay. What's up, you guys? This is Mike Shinoda from Fort Minor. Watch our video, and I'm screwing it up again. Watch our video and make it number one on AOL's top 11 countdown. See, you get past like four words, and I forget yeah, the whole thing. That's bad. I'm going to change that. What did you just say? You know, make our, make our video. Make yeah, it's OK. I'll remember it. What's up, you guys? This is Mike Shinoda from Fort Minor. Watch our video and make it number one on AOL's top oh, 11. Fuck. 11 countdown. You're really close. You're so close. AOL's top 11 countdown. What's up, you guys? This is Mike Shinoda from Fort Minor. Watch our video and make it number one on AOL's Top 11 Countdown. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. One more. A little bit easier. Remember to choose a winner for this week's poll. The whole intro on a tune? Yeah, please. Okay. What's up, you guys? This is Mike Shinoda from Fort Minor. Remember to choose a winner on this week's poll. Or for this week's poll. What's up, you guys? This is Mike Shinoda from Fort Minor. Remember to choose a winner for this week's poll. One more. One more. You've got mail. <laughs> You've made bail. <laughs> You've made bail. <laughs> that could be easier. Thank you. That could be easier.
Just try it in the wedges one time without the ears. Or are you okay? It's gonna be better in your ears for sure, for sure. And it may help. It may help quiet the noise of tomorrow's show in your hair. But I like all the red ones. That's fine. You can actually do that. Sure. Can we try to do that? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hey Dan. Dan. Hey Dan. Holly would like a little bit of herself in these, uh, in, in the way too. But I mean, do you want me over here or do you want to? Wait. Hello, hello. Okay, a little bit more. Where'd you go? And this is soon. Who is this? You're going to introduce her. Oh, yeah. Um, well, you're not going to get any of this. You don't get any of it. He's getting that for us. Huh? He's getting this for us. For us? Then he can get it for if you haven't heard, the girl right there, her name is Holly Brooke, and you need to go ahead and go on the website and check it out, because she's got good music. You'll Great know, music. You'll know what I know soon enough, how good it is. Good music. <laughs> Can we do it one more time, Mike? Huh? Yeah, 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 run the song again. All right, Ted. We need it with uh, strings. Nope. Everybody except for Jim. This is our only camera, right? The rest of you guys, you can't use this for anything. They're just looking for their yeah. issues. And this is
Let's run it one more time so these guys can play one more time for you. 